If you play Japanese style mahjong, try random pulls. It's a great way to learn all the yaku. If you are a beginner or intermediate level player and you want to improve your game, consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls with a focus on the five block method. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I have six counters. We're going to try to do six random pulls in 15 minutes. We're going to alternate between east and south. And we'll roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. So I'm going to say that we're in seat four. So we're in seat four. And let's choose Dora. So the variables for this random pull will be east round, nine crack is Dora, and we are in seat four. So let's see what we can do as far as blocks. There's one, there's two, three, four, and then a pair we need. So I would definitely discard these two first. Leverage Dora, one, two, three, four, five blocks. So we would need a pair in here. So let's look at the strength of each block. I would say, because that's complete, that's strong, I would say this is weak because it is a inside weight. I would say this is weak because it's an edge weight. This is a strong block because it is a side weight. There are two potential tiles that can complete that. Not only that, but this could actually be a good weight for Tenpai. So I'd go for Pinfu, all cheese in this case, and we'd need a pair. This might even be doable in six discards. That's what I would try for. Ten pie in six discards. Because technically we only have three discards. We need to pair up and fill in. If you would do something different here, let me know. We're going to go to the south round, and this time let's say we're in seat nine. So we'll be the dealer for this one. Seven crack is Dora. Okay, so for this random pull, let's block it out. So we have two honors. We are in south round and we're seat east. So this could bring score here. We have a chi, seven, eight, nine. Here's a potential chi. Here's a potential chi. Here's a potential chi. Maybe even that could be a pair, per, let's say. So we have one, two, three, Maybe four blocks. We need a pair in here still. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and a pair. So we would need to pair one of these up. I think I would discard these two and then one of these. And try for Pinfu. We have, as far as the strength of the blocks, we have a completed chi, a potential chi with a middle weight, a potential chi with a middle weight. This is a side weight, so that could be good, but it also could maybe be a pair. If we could draw in another two bam or a four bam, that would be nice. If we got a one bam or a four bam, we could maybe even try for a pure double chi. Two, three, two, three. I would start by discarding those followed by these. If you would do something different, let me know. Oh, look, we have Dora. That would be nice. We have Dora and Akadora. Okay. 
back to east round and let's see which seat we're in. We'll roll again. I rolled a five, so seat one. Red, white, and green. So white dragon is Dora. White dragon is Dora. Okay, so no Dora. We have tiles here that can bring value. The north could be kept for a potential pair. So we can keep that, discard those first. We have a potential chi here. Here's a potential chi or pone, potential chi or pone. And then these are isolated. So one, two, three, four, five. This is a rough start, I would say, if I were to say whether or not this is a good shape, I would say no, it's terrible because there's not even clear blocks that that have good joining tiles. Like th these are completely isolated. So those are not helpful. This is completely isolated. These are value tiles. So if we're going to play pin foo, those have to go. So I think I would start by throwing that and then try for pin foo. We have one, two, three, four blocks with potential cheese. One of these is going to have to be a pair too. You know what I was thinking though, maybe what we should do is try for even all simples. That's five discards though but we could use this for a pair. So there's one block, there's a block. These would have to be filled in. I would hold these for as long as possible, but start by discarding those. Let me know what you would do in this case. I would try for all simples. You could even, with all simples, you could even pwn. I believe all simples is an exposable hand. Let me just double check. No, it's concealed. Tan Yao Chu. I guess it depends on which group you play with. I've heard of open Tan Yao. So I believe that Mahjong time, it is open Tan Yao. So we might be able to play all simples here. I would throw these last though, because we could still use those for a potential pin foo. We could maybe even play a mixed triple chi. We have a one, two, one, three, and a three. I think that's what I would try for instead of all simples. Mixed triple chi, maybe. Get rid of these first. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section. Back to south round and we're on number four. We're going to say we're in seat three this time. So we're going to be in west seat. Nine crack is Dora. I would play for half flesh, three discards. We'd have to pair up for sure, but let's just look at blocks. We have one, two, either here or here, or what we could maybe do is one, two, three. One, two, three blocks. Nine crack is Dora. I would throw these away. They're isolated. And uh, let's see, it's south round, we're in seat west. Every one of these could bring score to the hand. If we could just pair them up in time and pwn them. Chi, 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 pair up and pwn. Now that's my 
tendency coming into play, but this is what I'm seeing. One, two, three, four blocks. We need to pair up to get more blocks. We need five blocks. So this is a weak start, but this would be a nice high value hand. Half flush is two Han, plus we would get a Han if we paired up and pwn for any of these. And if a nine crack goes down from the player on our left, which would be south, we could chi that and get Dora. That's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write random pull four and what you would do. We're going to go to south round. This is random pull five. Oh, let's see which seat. Let's say we're in seat six. Just to keep the variables random. We do a three crack. So four crack is Dora. We're in seat two, south round. Ooh, we got a pwn. Okay. Pwn, pair. Hmm. Blocks would be one, two, three. There's no Yaku there. The only way to get a Yaku would be to pair up either of these. Either that or discard these and reblock. One, two, this could be a pair, and then maybe try to draw in filler tiles. So we would have one, two, three. I would start by discarding east and see what comes. Either way, we've got, if we went with all pwn, let's say, we would only have two blocks. If we went with Pinfu, we would, ha oh, like we would have, yeah, oh man, that's terrible. Okay, this would be terrible. Tell me what you would do in this case. Would you hope to pair up a white dragon and a south and hope to get a Yaku out of those and then take whatever you can get for the rest? Oh, this is terrible. I think that's what I would probably do, hope to pair up to get a Yaku out of those because there's only one, two, three blocks. I suppose we could let Reach be the only Yaku and get rid of all those. Which would you do? Hold the South and the White and hope to pair up for a Yaku there or discard those and Reach alone? Trying to Pwn and Chi wherever you can. Concealed, of course. Write it in the comment section what you would do with this one. And we'll do one more. Okay, last one. We're on south round. Let's say this time we're in seat six. So I will put up a two. Two on the dice, so we get 13 tiles. Oh, Dora. So let's say six is Dora, six dot. Ooh. Oh, it's south round and we're south seat. There's an e a pair of Easts. That's a no value pair though. I think what I would try, we've got one, two, three, four, five blocks. As far as blocks go, I think this is one of the strongest for this set of random pulls. So what I would try to do is mix triple chi. 
All we need is a five dot or a six dot to get ready. That's what I would do here. I would discard these first. Hope to get a five dot, which is going to be hard because it's already Dora, the Dora indicator. But that's what I would try to do. If you would do something different, let me know. We can leverage Dora, Akadora here too. And if we're doing a mixed triple chi, that six dot would be nice if we could draw it. I don't know if we would get it in a discard in time, but that's what I would attempt here. One, two, three, four, five blocks. That one's ready. That's a middle weight. This, of course, we need a five dot instead of a four dot. Okay. Let me know what you think about random pulls. I personally think it's a great way to learn the Yaku, but also it's a great way to practice identifying blocks in this five block method. I think over time it'll help me gain confidence with my decision making. Give it a try yourself and see if it helps you. Come back and let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese style mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.